I'm gonna take you through a workout with an NFL linebacker and we're gonna start right now. What's up everybody, it's Dane Miller from Garagestrength.com and if this is your first time to the channel, make sure that you like, subscribe, and you ring that notification bell so that we can help you become an athletic freak. So have you ever wondered what it's like to train to compete at that next level? We've got NFL linebacker Jan Johnson. He was a two-year starter at Penn State University where he was also that team captain. He just got released by the Houston Texans and now he's back in training as he waits for his call to get back to the league. So we're taking him through this workout. He's been training with us for a couple weeks now as we try to develop his strength, get his clean up over maybe 315 pounds potentially as we continue to build some muscle mass, build strength and make him explosive as possible. So lesson number one from this training session is that you've got to be explosive as possible if you're gonna be a linebacker. Jan hit a big PR in the clean. He cleaned 145 kilos, which is around 320 pounds. And then he dropped down and he did a triple at 286 pounds. So that's big time strength repeated over a full session. That's gonna help him be as explosive as possible over a long duration. And that's what you need if you're gonna be playing a 60 minute football game. That second big lesson is having maximal strength in a movement like the back squat is very key. If you can think about an NFL linebacker, they're gonna be taking blocks from big time guards. They're gonna be taking blocks from heavy fullbacks that have a ton of speed. If you're a linebacker that can squat a decent amount, you can take that blow, you can feel that force absorption, and then you can try to manipulate your opponent to get to a better position on the field. And one of the things that we like to do is pair that big back squat with an ab exercise because it forces the athlete in this situation, it was Jan, to be a little bit more coordinated in his trunk. And when he's a little more coordinated with his trunk, he can apply force a little bit more rapidly but he also can absorb force a little bit more effectively and that's also going to transfer to his speed on the field. That third big lesson is applying strength gains to that field strength and targeting weaknesses. Jan's had a little bit of a weakness in his hamstrings. He's got long legs, so we've got to take advantage of developing that weakness now. We, if we can make his hamstrings a little bit stronger, that's going to help improve his speed. That's going to help him with hip extension. And that's also going to help us, and if you saw him doing the dumbbell drop snatch to a hip lock, that's going to help carry over that strength that we gained in the beginning parts of this workout. That hip lock's going to help him run a little bit quicker. He's going to co-contract a little bit more effectively in his hip girdle. That's going to lead to a little bit better posture on the field while he's trying to make those big time plays. So if you want more information about football training, head over to GarageStrength.com. You can pick up our How to Get Faster training program. If you want more information about how to be more explosive as a football player, click on this video right here. Until next time, guys, peace. Damn, that was good. Oh, f oh, they should just call me a pro YouTuber.